So let's try this uh, sample problem. Uh, determine the design moment strength of a rectangular concrete section reinforced with four diameter 28 mm bars in one row, given with 300 mm effective depth for 11.5 mm, total uh, total depth for 75 mm, FC prime to 7.6 megapascal and FY equal to 414 megapascal. So for this problem, for this problem, we are just being tasked to analyze and uh, compute for the design moment strength, which is just equal to VMN. Okay, we are just being tasked to compute for VMN for this given uh, for this given section, uh, a single reinforced section with one row of reinforcement. Okay, so before we proceed with the computation of VMN, let's try to check first uh, the compliance of the section with respect to minimum steel ratio. So let's check first yung Romin natin. Okay, let's check first yung Romin. Uh, yung row actual natin, or simply yung row, which is just equal to AS over BT, is equal to 4 times pi over 4 times diameter squared divided by uh, B times the D for 11.5. Okay, so that will be equal to 4 times pi over 4. Oops. 4 times pi over 4 times 28 squared. 300 times 411.5. So, our equal natin will be 0. 0 0.1995. 0 0.1995. So let's try to compare that sa minimum and definitely ito yung magogovern dyan. So let us just try to compute that. Raw minimum is just equal to 1.4 divided by Fy na 414. Okay. 1.4 over Fy 414. So, ang minimum steel ratio natin is 0 0.00338. 0 0.00338, which is def definitely less than rho actual. Therefore, the okay. Okay yung section natin. Hindi siya nagbabiolate nagbabi sa minimum steel ratio. Okay. So, with that, I think we can now compute for VMN. We can now proceed for the computation of uh, VMN. Okay, so we know that VMN is just equal to phi AS FY times D minus 1 half ng A. Okay, uh, so ang uh, unknown na lang natin dyan, ang AS given, FY given, D given, A tsaka phi na lang nawala dyan. We can compute A by utilizing the equilibrium of this uh, stress diagram, C is equal to T. Or 0.85 FC prime AB is equal to AS FY, assuming that tension still yields. Okay, substituting 0.85 FC prime na 27.6 times A na unknown times B na 300 is equal to AS na 4 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times 414. So, we can compute readily yung, yung A natin. <coughs> so, A will be equal to 4 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times Fy na 414 divided by 0.85 Fc prime D. So, ang A natin na lalabas dyan will be 144.88. MM. Okay. So with that A, we can now compute for C, which is just equal to A over beta 1, where yung beta 1 natin ay 0.85 pa rin because dito tayo pasok sa range na to. So that will be equal to, diretso ko na lang sa calcu, 144.88 divided by 0.85. That will be 
45 mm. 170.45 mm. So with that C, we can now compute for strain T, which is equal to 0 0.003 times TT, which is equal lang din sa D natin dito, which is uh, 411. So I ko na, 411.5 minus C na 170.45 over C, which is 170.45 as well. So that will be... <coughs> 0 0.003 times 411.5 minus 170.45 over 170.45. <coughs> so, ang uh, strain natin, tensile strain, will be 0 0.00424. 0 0.00424. Okay. Which is definitely greater than strain Y. Where in yung strain Y natin is just equal to 414 over 200,000 megapascal, which is equal to 0 0.00207. Okay, so therefore, you can verify there na, yeah, yung tension still natin na to will yield. So, tama lang na ginamit natin na FY dito. Uh, tama lang na ang ginamit natin dito na stress is equal to FY. Okay. At the same time, nalaman din natin na hindi tension controlled yung section natin, kundi uh, nasa transition siya. Because sa 0 0.004, yung strain niya, and if we, will try to, if we will try to look dito sa table na to, you can see na yung strain Y natin is equal to this. And as you can see, in between... 0.00207 tsaka 0 0.005 yung tensile strain natin which is 0 0.0024. So therefore, according sa code, nasa transition siya and kung nasa transition siya, we have to use this to get our fee, yung strength reduction factor natin. Okay? So we uh, using that, yung fee natin will be 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25 times strain T which is 0 0.00424 0.00424 minus strain TY na 0 0.00207 divided by 0 0.005 minus strain TY ulit or strain Y which is 0 0.00207. Okay. So with that, we can now compute for fee. 0 0.65 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.00424 minus 0 0.00207 over 0 0.005 minus 0 0.00207. So, ang uh, fee natin will be 0 0.84 na lang. Two decimal lang natin. Point, uh, point 0.84, sorry. Point 0.84. Okay. So, with that, I think we can now uh, compute for fee MN. Fee MN is just equal to fee, which is uh, 0. 0 0.84 0 0.84 times AS na 4 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times FY na 414 times T na 411.5 minus 1 half ng A which is 144.88 144.88. Okay. So with that, now complete for FMN, 0.84 times 4 times pi over 4 times 28 squared times uh, FY na 414 times uh, 411.5 minus 1 half ng A which is 144.88. So the answer will be 290.42 kilonewton meter. 290.42 kilonewton meter. And that is the design moment of this given section. So it just means that the maximum uh, moment that this section is allowed to carry by the code is just up to 290.42 kilonewton meter.